What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. Today in this video, I'm going to be going over the Mini and what kind of little problems I ran into. Okay, so if you guys remember from the previous video, we have the roll cage mounted up in the car. And I told you that I would show you guys what I do with the bottom part of the roll cage where we actually got it welded in. Okay? So down in here, you can see that I cleaned it up and painted it and it all looked pretty good. So I did that to all four of the feet. Now if you can also tell, what is that right there? What is that? That is the problem that I ran into. Okay, so this right here is a Sparco Evo seat. Okay, this is the Evo one, which is the smaller seat. And it fits very nice. Like I sit in that seat and it's friggin' awesome. Okay, so it's got the seat hooked up to the Sparco aluminum HD mounts. And then underneath it is the Sneed for Speed um, base for the seats. So I'm in the passenger seat of the car. And here's my little issue. Okay, so you can see where the seat is. Okay, that's the shoulder part. Can you see my little concern? This part here comes in contact with the door. Okay, so I'm gonna close the door and show you guys the little hiccup. So this isn't even mounted in. And you can see it's touching. So I need to find a different set of seats that will work inside the Mini. Now I looked into the seating sizes for the other Sparco seats and the Evo 2, which is meant for bigger and taller people, um, it's got a bigger base, like where you put your butt in. But the weird part is that the shoulder part, like these, um, they're not as wide. So those could fit inside the car. So I don't know if I'm gonna go with different Sparcos or different whatever seats. Um, I also contemplated a set of Recaros, either a set of Sportster CSs so I could use my stock seatbelts, or a set of, uh, what were those other ones? The pole positions, where it's a fixed bucket seat. I haven't really decided which one I wanna go with, but those are my options. And I have to go with one of those because this one doesn't fit in the car. Now it's kinda of disappointing that the seat doesn't really fit in the car, because it bolsters you in really nice. Like, I remember I was actually looking at some footage of when I took the Accord to the track last year and how we were sliding in and around the seats. In this, there's no moving. Like, my butt is fully planted in these seats. Once they're mounted up with harnesses, there's not going anywhere. The bolstering on the sides, the support down here on like your hips, and even up at the shoulders is good. Now, there's one little thing that I'm kind of debating about. So if I go with a seat like this, a fixed bucket seat, I'll be making the car a dedicated track car where I won't really be able to legally drive it on the road. And the reason is, with a setup like this, I can't use my stock seat belts. But, with a set of six point aftermarket Sparco harnesses, I can have seat belts that work with this, but they're not street legal. So the six points, two of them mount in the crotch, and they go underneath the seat. Two of them attached through the side mounts, right in here. One, two, like one on each side. And then two more attach up here, um, up to the harness bar in the back of the car through the shoulder area. So you can get it so that the seat is properly mounted. You can get it so that the harnesses work with the seat, but there isn't exactly a street legal option for a bucket seat like this. Because the stock belts, they mount up one down here, and it comes up across over your lap. And if you can see, this part right here, like, this is gonna be an issue. So if the seat belt goes over top, it's gonna be squeezing the seat and not necessarily me to the seat. It is gonna be holding me down a little bit, but it's not gonna really be a nice, properly safe seat and seat belt um, combination. So I'm probably gonna have to go with a set of reclining seats, only because that's how I'm gonna have to get away with the legality of it if I still wanna drive this on the road. Now, if I had a trailer and a truck and I could make this a dedicated race car, that'd be awesome. But at this point, I don't have the funds to do that, nor do I have the truck or the trailer. But in the meantime, these seats are probably gonna have to go, I'm probably gonna have to look into something else. I'm really looking towards um, the Recaro Sportster CSs. They look like they're a really nice supportive seat. They look very comfy and I would love to rock those inside this thing. Get a set for the passenger and the driver and call it a day. I'll be able to use my stock seat belts with that kind of mechanism and I'm not gonna have any worries. As for the bolstering, the bolstering is still gonna be up there with a set of seats like that. Um, I'll have like a link in the description box if you guys wanna check out what those seats look like. Because at that point, you're gonna be properly bolstered on the side, you're gonna be bolstered up here, and you're gonna have an area for the regular seat belt, for the lap belt, to go over top, and then back over the shoulder. 
Okay, now the next thing that I want to talk about, the wide body kit. I got an email back from the guys that are like making these kits. I should be getting them very soon. So as soon as I get those fenders and everything, the wide body kit's gonna be a go. I'm gonna be getting uh, wider wheels, tires, and it's gonna be awesome. That's on the way. I know you guys have been asking a lot about that, so there's that answer. Now another thing, if you guys will take a look at my subscriber count, it's over 100,000. Now after I passed 100,000 subs, thanks to every one of you guys, after I passed that, I thought that Google was just gonna go ahead and send me the silver play button. I thought that's just how it worked. I never really questioned it. I didn't really know how it worked. Um, but I was like, okay, I'm at 112, 113 or whatever it is now, and I haven't received it yet. So I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on? I haven't received an email, I didn't get anything. So I went on my Google account and I found out that there was a notification saying that I need to verify my address. Once I verify my address, they're gonna send out the play button within a couple weeks. So, I have the play button coming in. So thanks to every single one of you, 113,000 of you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Now here's what I'm gonna be doing back for you guys. After every time I double my subs, I do a giveaway. Now you guys remember that dash cam that I have installed on my Accord? I have exactly one of those dash cams that you guys have the chance of winning. So here's my 100,000 K giveaway. I'll be doing a question and answer, so if you guys have questions regarding anything, throw them down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to go over every single one of them depending on what the question is. In order to be entered to win this dash cam, you guys have one job to do. Very easy. Find your favorite video on my channel and share it with your friends. It's as simple as that. So they can be entered into winning this dash cam as well. It records at two and a half K, it records great at nighttime, daytime, and it's got everything you need. I've had this in my car and I've had zero problems with this thing. I even did a, a review when I got this installed in the car and I showed you guys how awesome it actually is. Um, oh, another thing. Look at me. What's different? The wheels. There was a guy that was locally selling these BBS RK wheels for dirt cheap. Did I need them? No. Did I want them? Kinda yeah. So because they were so cheap, I'm like okay, what am I gonna do? I picked them up and I'm planning on flipping them. Now when I get the wide body kit, these are probably gonna go. So I've got wheels and tires for this mini. Now we've got one set here. We have another one here. And I have, oop, excuse me, I have another set here. So those two and the ones that are on the driver's side are another set. I don't need them, but now that it's starting to get warm, I'll be able to sell them, get a little bit of money, and maybe buy some more car parts. Now the last thing that I want to say before I end the video, my exhaust situation. So when I installed my short shifter kit on the Mini, I had to disconnect the exhaust system and drop it. And I've got it right here. Now because this car's an 09, and the person that owned this before me, he daily drove it, the underside of it got a little rusty. So the underside, the flex pipe that's connected to the exhaust, I'll put the dash cam down before I break it, the flex pipe that connects up right here, when I took the exhaust off, literally fell off. So I'm gonna have to do something exhaust wise, either get another flex pipe or do a full cat back exhaust system while I'm at it. I haven't decided which one yet. I might just go with um, the flex pipe for now and then do full exhaust once I do big turbo on the Mini and then go from there. But as it goes, if you guys have any questions that you wanna have entered inside the Q&A video, once I get my play button, I'll be doing a Q&A there, and I'll be doing the giveaway for this. Questions, you can be entered for this. All you gotta do, share the video. Thank you guys for watching. It's been an awesome year and a half. I've grown to 113,000 subscribers as of today, and it's thanks to each and every one of you guys. If you're not subscribed yet, I definitely recommend doing it because I've got a lot more videos for the Mini coming out where I'll be tracking it and getting it summer ready, and the Accord is getting a lot of work done too. So I've got the wheel situation to figure out, I've got the seat situation to figure out on this thing, and, yeah. <laughs> she was pointing and saying that uh, she needs a seat too, so I definitely need to figure that out because after doing all these mods to the car, what the hell's the point of it if I don't have anywhere to sit? What am I gonna be doing, sitting on milk crates? It's not gonna work. So, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.